I have given you all the minerals and all the vitamins that your thyroid needs to function, but we can't only add things in, we sometimes have to remove the bad stuff from our bodies before this starts working properly. Toxins are inescapable. They're in our pesticides, our drinking water, all of our skincare products, and that's exactly why I've done a series A to Z of toxic products that you can upgrade. But there is a specific list of toxins that we are often exposed to that directly affect our thyroid. For example, nitrates and phthalates, which are commonly found in our food and our skincare products, block the uptake of iodide in our thyroid cells. The effect of this is decreased synthesis of T3 and T4. If you'd like to download a free list of all of the toxins on this list and exactly how they interact with your thyroid, you can find that for free on my website. But today we're gonna focus specifically on heavy metals. Now you know exactly how important iodine is for your thyroid. In the periodic table here, you see at the top, fluoride, chlorine, bromines, and then iodine. They're all in a line like this because they're all part of the same group, which means that they really look alike, except the one at the top is gonna be the most atomic weight, and then they're gonna continue to decrease until you get to iodine. Thyroid will take up fluoride from your drinking water or from your dentist appointments or your toothpaste first because it's the heaviest. Then you go swimming in chlorinated pools or you drink tap water or shower with it and it takes that up. Bromines are found in processed foods. And then there's little room for iodine to be used. Heavy metals are destroying your thyroid, but they can be detoxed. If your blood panel looks good, but you still suspect there's an issue with your thyroid, take my assessment, very easy. Use code thyroid help for 10% off.